So my name is John Heskett. I'm the Chief Technology Officer here at KSET. I've been involved in uh, modem design and uh, signal processing, as well as ground station architectures for more than 15 years. Um, and of course, here at KSET, we focus on providing a worldwide ground station network uh, with over 200 ground entry points. Uh, and that's uh, both in the poles as well as uh, mid-latitude sites. And so maintaining that, uh, that worldwide network is something that is, uh, is a big technological challenge and something that is, is really enjoyable to work on. My job here at, at KSAT is to, to make sure that, that that worldwide network is able to meet the demands of the, the new space market with all of their, their software defined applications and, uh, and reprogramming of their waveforms while also servicing the reliability needs of the industry and uh, especially servicing the, the space agencies as well. Yeah, so cybersecurity is really interesting. And uh, um, as, we, as we move to more of a digital engineering and automation world uh, where we're, we're more cloud native and cloud-based, uh, uh, networks, network access, uh, software applications, software signal processing are all the ways that we're, we're implementing our ground station networks now. And with all that uh, comes an added uh, um, emphasis on cybersecurity. Uh, they, there's, a, there's a saying that the, the, the most secure network you could ever develop is one that you would build in 1960. And in a lot of ways that's true because uh, they were all analog based, but uh, with analog, you can't scale and you can't meet the demands of the, the new markets. So, so with this new digital infrastructure that we're, we're establishing, cybersecurity is at the forefront of that and is something that we, we really need to stay on top of. Yeah, so that's interesting because as satellites are now able to, to basically reprogram their waveform and their framing electronics uh, to, to, to support different waveforms, to support different bandwidths, uh, symbol rates, uh, things like that, the, the ground station networks that uh, we at KSET support, this, this whole ground station infrastructure, also has to, to adapt to it uh, simultaneously. So, um, so having a software-based infrastructure and a, and a digital engineered infrastructure uh, on the ground is going to be paramount to be able to support the, the satellites who are now able to, to adapt their waveforms to, to uh, most aptly meet their, their bandwidth needs and things like that. So, so it really puts a lot of uh, demands on our ground station networks to be able to adapt quickly as well. So, so once again, that whole uh, cloud native software application, uh, software signal processing world, uh, it, it really forces us to uh, be in that world as well. A great question. Uh, I think uh, obviously the, the first thing that I think uh, most people are looking forward to is actually the being able to be face to face again, uh, developing and renewing relationships that uh, for the last 18 months or so, we haven't been able to do. And, uh, and then uh, secondly, uh, me especially, I, I'm looking forward to getting the word out about uh, virtualization, uh, you know, the digitization of the ground station as well as the satellites and uh, the software defined networks and the software defined applications that we're using. Um, really, that's a, it's a personal passion of mine and uh, looking forward to getting the word out about that.